Welcome to this session on embedded surfaces. So once a room has been defined with its surfaces, you can then further define those surfaces with embedded surfaces such as windows and doors. And so if we go up to our ribbon, we can see we have the embedded surfaces tool group here. And we're going to start with this add window tool. So we're going to go ahead and select add window. Here's our, our dialog. Just going to drag that out of my way. We'll start over here in the, in the front lobby. I'm going to work in the ISO view, but you could also work in the plan view. I'm just going to zoom in a little here. So we're going to select our fabric type or our window type. Again, this comes from a library of different constructions and can always be modified later. We're going to start with this OptiFloat clear six millimeter glass and no blind. Now from the defaults we set up earlier, the height of the window is 2.4 meters and the sill height is 0.6. And of course we could change that at this point as we place it, but we're going to leave the defaults. We could also add fins, but we won't do that just now. So all we're going to do is select the room where we want to place the embedded surface. It will highlight. Then we're just going to come down and trace our floor and just indicate where that window is going. And all we have to do is basically drag from one point where you're using our AccuSnap here and snapping to the edge of the brick. And then I simply come over and start the next one. Drag my cursor. I'm going to, to skip the, the door at the moment, but we'll come over here and just work our way around. And I'm using the edge of the brick there as my snapping point for the window. Now when I turn the corner here, I can always switch to my other view. I can work in either view and I can go from one to the other. And now we've placed some windows in the front lobby. We can see those on the project tree under each of the different exposed wall surfaces where they were embedded. Now to do the back surface, I may want to rotate my ISO view around. Let's just take a little look here at how we rotate our views. There's a tool up on our top toolbar, rotate. And we do have a, a number of preset views that we could simply select. But in this case, we're trying to get sort of a back ISO view. So I'm just going to use the rotate view command. This gives me a little cursor, which I can actually move around, kind of center where I want to rotate. And then I just use my cursor to spin my model around. And now we'll go through and trace the back. So right click to end the last one and then I can simply select a new room and then I start tracing. Note, there's also a, a pan. It's a little hand icon there. So I can do any view manipulations, rotations, panning, and then just go right back into placing my windows. And then a right click when I'm finished with that room. Once you have the windows placed, you can go ahead and do the same with the doors. We're going to use the add door icon.
And we'll just use that default door for now. And again, the defaults that we set up originally. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do this on the back view since I have this rotated and then we'll move around to the front. So it's the same process. I'm just going to select the room. And then place my door. And I'm just going to go to the center of that frame there. And the center of that one. These actually, there's some glass windows in between. And we'll come back and place those again. So that's the two doors on the back side. Again, right click or reset. And then select the next room. I'm going to go do the ones on the front lobby. And you can always do these in the plan. And then to finish up, I'm going to go back to my window command to place the windows adjacent to the door. But we are going to have to change the, the height and the sill height here because we want these to actually match the door. So I'm going to use the three meters and make the sill, sill height zero. Again, I'll come into the back door. I'm going to go from the brick and then to the edge of the door. And then from this edge to this edge. And finally, from this edge to the brick again. And then a right click to reset. And then we could select the front lobby. And in this one, I could work in the plan. Just want to go to that same center point of that frame there that we used for the door. And a right click to reset. And again, if we go back to our project tree and look at our exposed wall surfaces, we have now a number of embedded surfaces, doors and windows, and the same would be true on the back lobby. Go ahead and rotate this back Oops. to that asymmetric view and fit our fuse again. So now we have that ground floor pretty well defined. We have, have the rooms defined. We have some embedded surfaces on the exterior. And what we're going to do next is copy that floor in order to create the two floors of above it since they're actually very similar. And we'll do that in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.